Hey there, my friends, what is going on? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wealth Club, where we are helping people increase their wealth in Bitcoin to generate profits in multiple ways and teaching you how to trade crypto profitably. This is Sunday, the 1st of March, today in crypto. This is new week starting out and I want to share with you what I'm seeing right now on the charts. I want to share with you what is happening in Bitcoin cryptocurrency space, what I'm seeing in the short term, what I'm seeing in the long term, we have some things to discuss. So let's get right into it. We right now are seeing on the markets, Bitcoin is stay exactly the same pretty much in the last 24 hours. The entire crypto market cap is sitting on $248 billion. Of course, it's a big cry out of the almost $300 billion that we've seen just uh, a week ago or so. Okay, Ethereum is exactly at the same, uh, uh, Bitcoin Cash 1.16%, Bitcoin SV slightly up. Uh, looking at the chart for Bitcoin, what we are seeing is Bitcoin trading at $8,600 right now. We had a, a pretty big uh, red candle here on the weekly time frame and it exactly fell to about $8,500. And just like I said in the previous videos, uh, we have this uh, uh, futures charts that did not get filled um, before, you know, and uh, that started right here on the 27th of January. You can see this gap and you can type in BTC uh, with an exclamation mark and the CME, the futures market, and you can look at this and pretty much uh, throughout history, whenever we see a gap like this, it tends to fill. And this is exactly what happened. We got uh, this, uh, this gap got filled. Now, uh, we have another gap that did not get filled yet. And this is uh, approximately in this area right here on 7,000 and 800 something like this seven thousand seven hundred dollars so uh, possibly we can get this gap filled as well but I'm, I'm not feeling as strongly about this one um, as as that one that I got filled and it's okay to have a correction overall we are still up by about 20% in the uh, in 2020 where we are standing uh, we're still looking at the the bigger picture you can see that we are trending right here between this area okay and overall since uh, december 2019 we had uh, pretty good weeks right so this is just a correction back to this level over here so overall doesn't mean uh, gloom and doom of course and that bitcoin is going down and it's going to crash and and stuff like that we'll talk about uh, the fundamentals and what really is important to understand so it's really something that we are seeing overall the stock market has crashed and you can see right here um you know pretty pretty in a big way and one uh, analyst said that we are heading to uh, 30 to 40 percent this year the global equities and this is among the coronavirus uh, concerns that you know as you know the, the the implication that we have a squeezed chinese economy will mean downturns around the globe this crisis will spill over and result in a disaster that says that uh, rubini the economist is uh, pretty famous no 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 real rubini okay so amongst this uh, happenings um, in the stock market in the global market we see Bitcoin correcting here as well okay as people are more afraid they're less travel they, they, they want to uh, take back possibly some of their assets out of uh, more of risky investments like for example Bitcoin and the crypto which considered still the more risky asset class okay so that's uh, that's what we are seeing but overall uh, we have not yet moved below the 20 uh, week moving average this uh, orange line right here uh, we are just bounced out of this 20 week moving averages so i think as long as we have not uh, plunged uh, below this 20 week moving averages we are doing fine we're doing okay and uh, it's, it's just a correction but overall you need to see this this year even if we plunge down 
another thousand dollars to seven thousand five hundred it doesn't mean that we are entering the bear market <laughs> it's exactly uh in those moments that you need to be a wise investor and you need to accumulate bitcoin and i'll tell you why we are having the uh, halving event that is happening exactly 71 days from now on 12th of may 2020 this is where the supply of bitcoin the coin reward will decrease from 12 and a half to 6.25 bitcoin every 10 minutes approximately or so and bitcoin is a very math technology it's based on math a lot of math okay and uh, what's really great about this is we have history showing us where halvings you know previously have led us uh in the bitcoin history price so this for example the start this was the start of uh, the halving in 2012 and you can see the price got at about 8368 percent okay um by 2000 by november 2013 and then we had you know all these weeks entered slightly a bear market right here then people started again to accumulate and this is where the the halving start started the second time on 9th of july 2016 and uh, we saw bitcoin jump by end of 2017 4771 percent something something about that so you said another big jump right and uh, that was after the halving and then people you know you know the halving was over and uh, people started to take back their profits and we entered another bear market in december 2017 boom we plunged and plunged and reached three thousand a hundred dollars then people started to accumulate in this area we got to fourteen thousand dollars then got back to about six and a half thousand dollars and then now ten thousand okay we're fluctuating around this area um but uh, you know this is still in somewhat an accumulation zone uh before the next big uh event that will happen and jump the price because um i'm certain that bitcoin is going to crash the twenty thousand dollars and it's going to hit a hundred thousand dollars at some point uh, i believe that by the end of 2021 that's that's what we're going to see we're going to push uh towards the hundred thousand dollar level mark this is somewhere along this this area right here a hundred thousand somewhere of this area okay this is where we're going to reach for bitcoin now it will be a choppy one of course like this but yeah we'll reach this area <coughs> and some of the reasons why you can see a very popular graph the stock to flow um, graph and it shows you uh, when is the best time for you to sell bitcoin whether it's the best time to buy bitcoin all this the yellow one the the yellow this is the time where you want to sell okay and the the blue ones right here this is the best time where you want to buy and this is based on the stock to flow ratio um, that really ties close to the halvings and according to this chart the best time to accumulate uh, the, the best time to actually um start to accumulate is about 900 days before the halving event right and then after the halving event the best time is uh, to sell is about 500 days or so after the halving happened so somewhere along uh end of 2021 somewhere along this this area right here okay 2021 um this is the time to get out i believe uh, out of bitcoin somewhere in the end of 2021 and start to to selling um and and taking back the profits uh, because we there is a good potential we'll hit a hundred thousand dollars by uh 2021 so all of those little things that we are seeing right now on the charts you know some some red weeks some bloody weeks of uh, bitcoin correcting overall in the bigger uh, picture it's all okay <laughs> we got those red weeks as well along our, uh, our our bull markets you can see it right here in july 2016 if we zoom a little bit uh you can see those 
those red big weeks right there okay right here okay so this is uh, this is normal and you should anticipate and expect that right now uh, people are fearful in the fear and greed index in 39 people are fearful and um, all those things that are happening now another very very um, good thing for Bitcoin that I want to point out today the Australian judge says uh, crypto is a legitimate investment vehicle uh, based on the court case uh, that happened a couple of days ago the judge said this is a recognized form of investment okay so essentially um, the plaintiff vice for crypto usage and uh, the, the 30,000 US dollars uh, or so they allowed actually instead of a bank account the court allowed the plaintiff to use their cryptocurrency exchange account so what it means for uh, for Bitcoin generally for all of our industry is that you know it, it's getting recognized worldwide as a currency that uh, you can use like, like fiat you know that, that you can go and use um, like anything else okay that that's widely recognized and becoming more and more recognized that people can use Bitcoin they can use crypto for uh, whatever for whatever they want okay uh, in this uncertain recognize uh, and financial times <laughs> uh, so that's that is really good um, another thing the Federal Reserve put a statement on the 28th of February in this press release uh, the fundamentals of the US economy remain strong <laughs> I don't believe this is the case however the coronavirus uh, coronavirus poses evolving risks of, uh, to economic activity the Federal Reserve is closely monitoring developments and their implications for the economic outlook and they said we'll use our tools and act as appropriate to support the economy now what does it mean to use our tools and act as appropriate to, to the economy <laughs> well to translate that uh, into what actually they're going to do is they're, the Federal Reserve is going to cut rates the interest rates by at least a full percentage point from the current range of between 1.5 percent and 1.75 percent so what it means is with lower interest rate more money is going to be printed and put into the economy that's what's happening that's what's happening and uh, essentially um, they're going to get into even a deeper crisis um, <coughs> so all of that ultimately uh, will prompt bigger allocations to to bitcoins uh, to bitcoin investor in crypto and traditional markets could be so gripe right now by a crisis mentality okay but um overall all of this will lead to to more economic uh turmoil and the crisis and and people are going to go into uh into bitcoin because you know this this financial uncertainty that is getting bigger um is just is just something that people will want to go into bitcoin more and more okay so that's something um to think about yeah so um what else is in the news we have uh, jack uh, dorsey the ceo of twitter who is very very pro bitcoin uh could possibly be uh, dismissed from the management because of the big uh investor who doesn't want him uh essentially to be also the ceo of uh, cash app the square cash app uh, offering Bitcoin services and being the, the CEO of Twitter. I would personally don't want um, him to go but uh, as a CEO of Twitter, but uh, that's something that you, you want to be aware of. And another thing uh, regarding people saying gold is a safe haven, uh, you can see there is a hidden you scan. can see on this tweet, um, you can see the actual footage of having a, a fake branded gold bars. Uh, that slip into the world markets you know thousands of them um, of this fake gold and you know Bitcoin you cannot fake Bitcoin it's on the blockchain you cannot fake it gold you can fake it you can you can watch this video and you can see for yourself in the gold trade fake bullion 
Not fake metal, that is, but bars falsely identified as coming from reputable refiners. When in fact they come from places unknown and may be used to funnel funds to drug dealers and warlords. Over the past three years, mislabeled bars worth $50 million have been found in vaults including those of JP Morgan. That is according to executives at gold refineries, banks and other industry players. They have told Reuters that at least 1,000 such bars have been found. But the fakes are hard to spot, meaning there are probably many more out there. No one knows who's making the forgeries, though industry sources think most originate in China. Consultants say up to 600 tonnes of gold is snuck out of the country every year. The allegation is disputed by the Shanghai Gold Exchange, which regulates China's bullion market. It says it isn't aware of any forged bars. JP Morgan wouldn't comment on the Reuters figures. It would only say that it always alerts authorities when a mislabeled bar is found and its customers haven't lost any money. But few dispute that the problem exists. Now refiners are fighting back with technology. Swiss producer Metalor puts tamper-proof ink on its output. Others keep a microscopically detailed scan of every bar as a record. But so if you get the idea, guys. You get the idea that uh, uh, gold can be faked and it can be found into the, the world's uh, market and the reserves and all of that. Um, something that cannot happen with Bitcoin. That's why we love Bitcoin and uh, we are going to absolutely have a fantastic decade, the next decade. And if you're in the Bitcoin market, celebrate, celebrate. The last decade was absolutely tremendous for Bitcoin. Okay, so um, with that being said, guys, hopefully you have a great week. Uh, if you're not part of Bitcoin's Walls Club, subscribe to Bitcoin's Walls Club, get a free account and find a wealth of information how you can grow your Bitcoin inside our Bitcoin's Walls Club system. If you haven't seen the training, uh, on the same day profit system, how you can trade cryptocurrencies profitably on your own exchange and generate those uh, micro profits of half a percent to two percent. Um, on that, you can learn through this video and through the tools that we provide. Uh, if you want more passively, we have also Wells vehicles that will teach you how to get five, ten, fifteen percent a month or so uh, on your crypto. Uh, uh, with uh, more of a passive strategies, okay? And we're continuing to add, uh, as we see fit, strategies that can help you generate profits with Bitcoin and with crypto, okay? And if you want to tap into um, other people's money, there is also a link to that, uh, how you can generate uh, between two and $16,000 uh, in Bitcoin using other people's money. It's all in there. And if you want to trade, on leverage, a uh, very good um, alternative to BitMEX, actually better than BitMEX, is a, a platform called Bybit, and you can find a link to that as well. And you can trade here uh, with a leverage of up to 100x, which I don't recommend, okay? You can start with two times, maximum three times leverage um, on, the, on your money, leverage on your money, okay? And uh, you can, basically take profits when Bitcoin is going up and when Bitcoin is going down as well, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Hopefully have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next episodes.